Hey guys, this is Porter Black from SmartphoneJunkie.com. Here today, I'm gonna show you a nice little feature. Uh, a uh, HTC Hero on a Touch Pro. This is not a ROM. This is a program from Point Sense. Uh, I will have that information on my website, so it's pretty neat. Um, I'm going to let you uh, look at it for yourself because I'm not a very talkative person so the video will explain how everything flows. Now the only thing I didn't like about this program here is that uh, it takes too long to boot up. I don't know if it has anything to do with uh, all the programs that I have installed here. I do have the Touch Flow 3D and uh, the Titanium but they are disabled. Uh, I'm gonna find a nice ROM that uh, none of those uh, are installed. Maybe it will boot up quicker. But anyway, this is pretty neat. I kind of, you know, I kind of like it in a way. But there's a lot of features that are not in here that I want to have. Um, I'll let you look at it for yourself. Also, I want to emphasize that um, that's the other drawback about this program. Um, it's defaulted to through the, uh, through the um, certain cities, unlike on my Touch Flow 3D that I use often, which I normally use the most. Um, it gave you a selected city to pick from. The United States, you pick a city. Unlike this one, you, you ha you're forced to use what they have installed here. But a little bit, little bit that I was reading that you could change that uh, I'm not much of a tweaker. I hate tweaking my phone to make it look good as far as that that uh, that type of thing there but uh, that's the only thing wrong with this uh, program here. I mean it is tweakable. You can change a lot of stuff from it. Um, yeah, that's my, my oldest daughter. Um, yeah I, was, I, I guess when I have time to tweak it some more I could change the city from New York to Philly. Um, also on the bottom here if you see you can add uh, little icons there, like right now Google Maps, is, since I do transportation service, sometimes I do get lost out there at times, but uh, this is my backup here. Of course my Facebook, my Oprah, that's the best one I like to use so far, it's, it's quicker, I got to tweak so it go fast, and of course my contact. So uh, you can add more slots here, but I like, to I like a clean version. So I'm gonna stick with the ones on the bottom, which I use the most all the time. And the email. Um, I have about five email settings between my job, my personal, and uh, the site's email. The calendar is pretty, it's pretty all right. Um, you can add stuff to it if you click in there. You can add, uh, make some notes on there but I notice let me go back in there and pick a day if you notice it's not that great in landscape mode if you see you got the it says add and go back but if you turn into landscape mode um, no matter what I do the bottom won't pop up even though it's, it's made for VGA but uh, the only way I could change to fix this problem I have to hit home and um you know everything comes back up of course uh, the connections now with this feature here on the HTC Hero on the center here it will say phone but this one here will take you straight to uh, all the quick launch I mean I'm pretty sure if you tweak it you can map it to your phone um, of course you got my Paralingo my Diamond Tweak um, my basics here stuff that I normally use all the time my walk car mobile since I'm into transportation so I always have people giving me the business cards so this is cool to uh, use 
and um, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a tough person. I like plain stuff. I don't like all that extra stuff in there. I'm a pretty simple person. And uh, on the left here, you got to hold it down. And that's when you go into custom, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, when you customize. Um, because of this broken, this I paid for is not a no version or anything. I paid for it. Um, it's pretty cheap, it's 20 bucks. Um, you got the update settings right here, the settings to the phone, the program here. You can see it properly. Hold on, let me adjust the camera here. The program, uh, the running, any program app that's running in the background, you can check it out and shut them down. Uh, here we go. Let me go. Let me take you to this page here. I mean, it's pretty neat. There's not a whole lot of stuff you could do to it. If you look at it, it's not a whole lot of stuff. It's pretty simple for a simple person who wants to, who wants plain stuff. This will be the program. It runs well. It's pretty quick. Uh, I haven't had any freeze yet because I have everything shut down at the moment. Oh, to get into there, a lot of people I noticed on the website was having problem how to configure their weather. What you do is you go on the clock, you hold it down, and it will slide up. Go into city clock style. Um, I tried the clock style. It looks kind of tacky because with the icon, it was overlapping the the, uh, the clock there. Um, of course, a 24 hour for those military guys, which I normally use that, but for this demonstration, I'm going to leave it as is. And uh, clock application, if you have any customization, like clocks that you want to add to you for this here, you go in there. Oh, by the way, they call this a pellet. It's not like, you know, CAD programs. They, got a, they have a pellet, which you can always, any uh, developers who's into developing, just create it and add it to your phone. It's pretty neat. I mean, uh, that's about it. The only drawback about this here is very slow during boot, uh, while it's booting up. Um, overall motion is pretty swift, as you can see here. Um, try to see what else I can think about this thing here. Uh, from the scale from 1 to 10. Um, oh, I forgot about this bottom navigation. Um, if you click there, it will be all the recent call lists. Let me go back here. Um, all the applications. If you want to add more apps in here, you can create a folder, and in that folder, you can put more applications in there or programs. And this one here is the my contact, my favorite contact. There you go, Dash, you right there. Oh, this is all my loved ones, but you know. And and of course my emails, all my emails that I get through my phone. I mean it's pretty, it's pretty sharp. I mean I like it. I, I kind of like it. But for the scale from one to ten, I look at this as an eight. Um, I know the developer of this program is still improving. I think this is a, a promise for a future uh, phone who want to make their phone like a hero. Okay, this is all for now. This is Porter Black from SmartphoneJunkie.com. My review on the Point Sense program. I think I'm saying it wrong, but uh, I'll hit everybody with the link. Talk to you guys later.